there is an arc when times are bad, when there's economic stress, and if you throw in a pandemic or something like that. So the main thing I'm trying to convey in the book of these cause-effect relationships, because you could see the same story playing out all these times. So where are we on that arc now? We're at a stage where um, financially, we are spending a lot more money than we are earning, and we are producing that with debt that is monetized. So uh, we're in stage five. And so stage five also, we're having great internal conflict, okay? And with that, then there's the external conflict. That stage that in, the, in there is a test of whether we can rise above ourselves. This is not a destiny. This is something that can be handled. But the real questions are, can we get financially strong? This is a test of us. Can we get financially strong? And can we work together? Will, for example, the political system, which is going to more and more polarity and in, in a no-lose, winner-take-all type of thing, can we work through that and work well together? And if you don't, you go to stage six. Oh, that doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. It isn't stage good. six. <laughs> stage six is some form of civil war. We could talk about what it looks like. But do you believe that, well, you say, we're at, in your view, we're at stage five. Do you believe that we are able to solve those problems, thus avoiding stage six? Are you optimistic or pessimistic? I have um, a principle. If you worry, you don't have to worry. And if you don't worry, you need to worry. And I think if there's enough looking at this book and, and understanding the patterns and understanding cause-effect relationships, there might be enough worry to prevent the sort of movement to stage six, which is um, where we don't want to go. Of all the periods that you studied, which do you think is the most similar or arguably the most dissimilar, but we should really be careful of? Um, I think the period, the most recent um, similar period was the period between the 1930 to 45 period. Um, but there are many periods like that. The cycle begins um, when you, uh, there are things at odds, you have a war. You have an internal war, a civil war, or you have an external war, and then you begin a new order. So you begin a new world order in 1945. You had a war before that. That war was caused by, in the 20s, there was large wealth gaps, um, indebtedness, Law, over indebtedness, printing of money at, the, at the, the same sort of thing. What's your conclusion for those who don't want to plow through it? Uh, the conclusion is that there really only are three things that matter most. Um, first, fun, these are fundamentals. Um, are you earning more than you are spending, individually and a nation? So your finances are good, because those who can withstand the challenges have good finances. The second, are you behaving well with each other so that you can uh, deal with the problems together or are you causing problems because of the conflict? And so, and then third, is there an external threat? And throughout history, if you have those three things, then you're good. Can that test be applied on an individual yes, basis? Yes, because a country is nothing more than the aggregate of the individuals, right? So when we look at a country, but we think of that as the country is doing it. But the truth is each individual, each company, each entity does this. And it applies on an individual basis. Individually, if you earn more than you spend, so you have a good income statement and balance sheet, you can withstand more than if you don't, okay? If you behave well with each other, work well with other, each other, common goals, you'll be better. And so don't, and then don't get into fights with the foreigners, get into uh, competitions that are healthy.